Hello friends! So I have a cool knife to show to you today. This is the Harley XR from Freeman Knives designed by David Freeman. Now David Freeman is a knife maker, um, normally does custom mid-tech stuff, but this is his production model. So before I even get started, I think the cool thing about that is I feel like if you have an issue with these production knives and you send it in to him, he'll be able to fix it no problem, obviously, right? So that is just one positive, I think, personally, from someone that puts a, a model into production, but they already have so much background as a knife maker. I think that's a nice safety net to put your money into. But anyways, let's get started. So, Harley XR. These are the three versions that I got sent. These are the prototypes. I have used them a little bit. I will clean off the blades before I send them along, but if you see a spec here or there, I've, I've, I've kind of used them a little bit. But anyways, I um, tried to clean them up. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, this one right here. This is what he's naming the Acid Washed. Um, you've got your blackened, hard tumbled finish for this titanium frame lock. Um, I will say this is my favorite handle configuration, but I am a sucker for contrast, and I'm always a fan of Acid Wash. Um, and then we have this carbon fiber version. So you have your bead blasted titanium here and your carbon fiber. Very good look there. And then of course we have our bead blasted titanium frame lock with Mokutai accents, which is beautiful. There will be um, other variations. I believe there will be uh, five or six different variations you can choose from um, when the pre-order drops. I have seen the configuration that I can tell you will be my favorite, and it is the acid washed with the Mokutai accents. So it'll have this handle, but just with the Mokutai accents. Um, I think that one is my favorite from what I've seen from pictures. Um, that's just my style, my type, my preference. He's also going to have some micarta, which I think is awesome. And yeah, so here they are lined up. So let's talk about them. So overall length, you're going to have 8.125 inches with a blade length of 3.25 inches. So it's a big boy. I did carry this one to work. Um, I had to do, well, I didn't have to do. I pick up overtime. That's how I afford these nice knives. Anyways, I, um, I took this one to work with me. I will say, due to the size and how long it is, I didn't put it in my scrub pants pocket. I clipped it to my waistband. Um, so that's the main way I carried these because I had to work five days in a row, but I wanted to get this review out in a timely manner to send to other people and before his pre-order date. So I will tell you that me carrying it waistband style in my scrubs, I barely noticed it. Um, it carried well. The clip's very nice. You have um, almost deep carry really. You have a tiny bit showing, but really not that much at all once you clip it in. And the retention on this pocket clip, I really liked. Um, wasn't tearing my scrubs apart, wasn't tearing my pants apart, but held on tight, which I really, really like about that. So, let's talk about the blade. You have beautiful, beautiful grind lines there. He did say that he will make a few changes from this production model. I'm going to show a few pictures of what he sent me as far as what the changes will be. This is a beautiful style pivot, but it's going to be changed up a little bit. Instead of the holes, it'll have some stripes. And then he's going to change the thumb studs to a bigger size and a different style. Which I think is a good call because I got to say right out of the box, I really like these knives. But these particular thumb studs will wear your thumbs down if you are a fidgeter like me. So after, of course, if you open and close it a few times, no big deal. But if you're opening and closing a lot, these will make your thumbs sore. So I was happy to know before I even told him that um, thought I had, I'm glad to know um, that he will be changing the thumb studs out to a little bit bigger and look to be what a more comfortable style for the thumb studs, which was really my main negative for this knife was the thumb studs. So that's gonna be taken care of in the production model. Now, you can see here, you have your back spacer, which will match depending on if you get the bead blast or the acid wash finish. But if you get the Mokutai accents, you'll have your backspacer in that. Beautiful, beautiful Mokutai. Really like the pattern and design on this one. But anyways, how have I used it? I've cut up a few boxes, opened a few packages, cut open a sandwich, 
cut open a sandwich. I cut down the middle. You get what I'm saying. Anyways, all I have to say about that is I've had no problems. Did I hard use the knives? No, but I, with a size of this knife being like this, um, I don't think it would have a problem holding up to some hard abuse. Look at this thing. It's basically a little titanium tank, but it carries very well. Why does it carry very well? Well, you're still thin. Your handle's still thin, still comfortable. You have a very nice finger groove right there. Um, you have that little hook that it comes up, but it's very, very smooth down, very, very contoured, no problems there. I can without a doubt say that for me personally, with you know smaller sized hands, I have zero hot spots. I am holding this knife as tight as I can. I do not have a single hot spot. So that is great. Um, looks like there's no jimping on the blade, which is fine, kind of classes the joint up a bit, right? So I would really deem this as an EDC slash classy user. Um, that's really just what comes to mind when I'm, when I'm seeing it. With a knife this size, I mean, it's begging to be used. It really is. Don't worry about my cut, okay? I'm a nurse, I have to take care of it. You might say Band-Aids are for weenies. I say Band-Aids and Neosporin are for people that don't like infections, okay? Anyways, so I can tell you, obviously, as I've shown it a lot the most, really really right like this um black and hard tumbled finish um from what i've seen in the pictures like i said he will call it the acid wash which is fine with me people tend to come up with so many different names for things and if you get them wrong people get very angry but here we all have them again so like i said bigger size knife but when i carried it forgot it was in my waistband which is good Beautiful, beautiful lineup. And here I kind of just wanted to show a quick close-up for the measurement mat. Take a screenshot. Do what you will with it. And if I didn't mention earlier, these will be made by Reate or Riot, depending on what kind of accent you have. But I think that is a great thing because they usually come out with bangers production model-wise. So let's do some size comparisons. Here you have the... Um, Harley XR from Freeman Knives. There's my announcer voice. Here you have it against the standard full-size bug out from Benchmade. As you can see, a lot bigger. Here it is against the large Sabenza from Chris Reeve. Fairly close there. You're getting a little bit more, um, well, that's pretty close actually. Anyways, there's the large. Pretty good comparison. And then here you have the Harley XR against the PM2 from Spyderco. This is not about the Harley XR, but if you ever want to make people irritated, call this a pair of two instead of a PM2. But anyways, there's just some quick size comparisons for you. Um, action. A slight shake shut maybe slight drop shut um, the more I get into this hobby the less I care about straight drop shut I want a nice smooth controlled action which this seems to have I think out of the three scent this one has the best action nice close there detents good I don't feel like I have to overpower it too much but flicks out with authority would say the detent's very dialed in on these. And of course you can reverse flick. So, here's a quick look at the Harley XR. My main negative, like I said, was the thumb studs. I find them to be a tad uncomfortable after repeated opening and closing, but that'll be changed for the production model, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I will throw up some pictures of the uh, changes he sent me of what he's, his idea is. But for the most part, this will be the basis of the Harley XR. So, I'd say I'm pretty excited to see how these do. And uh, once these get in the wild, I think people will have an overall positive opinion of them. All right, so here they all are. I, for one, just really like the way a back of a knife looks. I don't know why. The lock side's always been attractive to me. So I think these knives look really good on the back side. 
Um, but one cool thing on the show side, besides the pivot, you just have a nice clean slate there. No screws, nothing else, just your pivot, and then a very clean look there. So, let's talk about price. From what I've seen in post, you're going to be in a range from $350 to $450, okay? $350 is your base, and then if you upgrade to the Mokotai and all that, you will be getting in the range of $450. Now, these here are, on these are your zirconium pivot collars. So, do I think the price is worth it? Yes, I do. Um, I understand that that's a fairly good chunk of change, but I really do think these are solidly built titanium frame lock folders, and you get a lot of size and real estate for what you're buying. I also think, once again, you're getting a production model from a knife maker. That's important to me. If I have an issue with a knife, I want to know that who I send it into can actually fix the issue better than I can. I can do knife maintenance. I can do your standard stuff. But I would like to know that a quote-unquote expert would be taking care of the situation. So I think that's really cool when knife makers do put out a production model that's a little bit more affordable than a custom or a mid-tech um, grade piece. So that's just my two cents on the matter. Of course, this is all personal opinion. You may think something's too expensive that I might not or vice versa. That's just how the life rolls. But I did want to give those that are very interested a nice little quick overview of these knives. As far as blade steel, you have an M390 blade steel with a hollow grind. All of these models will come with a hollow grind, which I think will be great for slicing but you still have a beefy enough blade with a fairly thick spine back here, so it's still strong. Beautiful. 